are on your side following up on how your city and county leaders are working to fix some of those flooding issues that continue to impact your neighborhoods. We got emails and pictures from a lot of you there from Brighton to Homewood and Birmingham. You can see the streets were covered Wednesday during that intense heavy rain. Global reporter Tristan Rupert is live and on your side with an update from our leaders just off Messer Airport Highway, a known problem spot. That's right, Morgan, it is. And once again, yesterday, we saw many vehicles try and really get through the water unsuccessfully. Many turned around, others chose a different route, albeit uh, one thing they're stressing, and by they, I mean city leaders, is that they do have a pump in place here, but it's a temporary solution, and that more must be done in the future to really fix the flooding issues here at Messer Airport Highway. But this was far from the only problem spot we saw in Jefferson County. Just a few streets over off 31st Street North, this was the scene yesterday. Employees in the area say the water receded in just hours, but it shows how much rain we got in such a short amount of time. Now, just under 31 on Lakeshore Drive, we once again saw flooding. You may recall, but this is an area where we have previously seen issues. This is video I captured in January. ALDOT Public Information Officer Linda Crockett says they fixed that issue, but believe the recent flooding was due to clogged surface inlets. Now, crews have since cleared those inlets and will monitor closely when rain appears in the forecast. About 25 minutes up the road in Brighton, we also received complaints about Rose Avenue. Water levels have dropped since yesterday, but neighbors tell me the ditch doesn't flow smoothly. And when heavy rain comes, the road is covered in water. Now, I have reached out to the Brighton mayor. I'm trying to get answers on just how big of a problem spot that area is and if there's any work or projects in the works to perhaps tackle that issue for residents. Of course, update you once we get answers to those questions. Until then, reporting in Jefferson County, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.